Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Every Android app nowadays involves some sort of asynchronous and reactive programming. And in a Kotlin environment, the native way to do that is with Kotlin coroutines and flows. However, I noticed that even though this is such a crucial topic for any Android developer out there, I only had a very basic seven or eight video playlist from five years ago or so, and a few independent videos here and there. And while coroutines and flows are super simple on the surface, this is really just the tip of the iceberg. But the deeper you go, the more you will realize, oh crap, there's actually a lot that I didn't know that can really backfire. And that's why I thought that a topic like this really deserves to be learned from A to Z, which is why I've created the Kotlin Coroutines and Flows Masterclass. Seriously, if I just think about coroutine cancellation, there are at least five mistakes that immediately come into my mind that if not considered, can lead to super hard to debug issues in your app. Be it a bug, be it a crash, or some kind of memory leak or so. And cancellation is really just one of the big topics when it comes to coroutines, because there's also error handling, so how exceptions are propagated in coroutines and what kind of issues that can lead to. There is synchronization, so how you spot and how you deal with race conditions. Then of course, performance is a big topic when it comes to coroutines. So how can you make use of them to really double or triple the performance of certain parts of your app? And there are of course also flows. So how can you really use coroutines to automatically react to changes on certain fields? Like for example, when there is a newly tracked location and how do you then take this data, these current locations, for example, and send them to a pipeline for an assembly line of transformations and changes to automatically put them in the data format you want. And all that I want to just teach you in as much detail as this topic deserves, but also not more than that. So without wasting any time by diving into internals, you won't ever need in practice unless you really work for JetBrains and work on the Coroutines API itself. So if you think, oh, that's something I don't need, you've already understood Coroutines, can you tell me why the IO dispatcher is better for network tasks than the default dispatcher? And why is the default dispatcher better for CPU heavy tasks than for network calls, for example? Or can you tell me which different parts a coroutine context consists of? Or what about which different synchronization mechanisms there are and which one is the right one for which use case? And do you know how you should really handle exceptions in your coroutines so it's really safe and can backfire? If you can't confidently answer these questions, well, that's not a problem, but then this Kotlin Coroutines and Flows Masterclass is for you. Because getting more to this topic will not only help you to understand why certain parts of your app are behaving the way they do, but this topic also gives you a super solid foundation for future tech interviews for Android positions. Because it's simply a fact that questions in tech interviews very often involve asynchronous programming, since that is of course a concept that affects all software development fields. And before I give you a very special launch of a for this new course, which just got out right now, I want to quickly give you an impression of the structure so you know what you can expect from this. So the first section will be about Coroutine basics. So this will be about similar topics that I already have in my Coroutines playlist here on YouTube, but everything after the section is really about concepts that I've never shared before in a structured way like in this course. I might have already talked about a topic here and there in very independent videos on my channel, but I of course know that it's very hard to have a clear structure when just learning with a YouTube channel. So in this first coroutine basic section, you will learn about things like what is a coroutine actually? How do suspend functions work? You will learn about coroutine scopes. You will learn about a coroutines in Jetpack Compose, how you can use these and where you can also find these in Compose projects. You will learn about jobs and deferreds. And then we'll take this knowledge and dive much deeper into coroutine context in the next section. So you'll learn about what a coroutine context actually is, which different parts it consists of. You learn about how context inheritance works. You learn about all the different dispatches we have for Kotlin coroutines, why specific dispatches are actually better suited for certain tasks than other ones, and how you can then take this knowledge and make use of it to boost the performance of your app. And you will learn about the principle of main safety. So that is a best practice when it comes to converting blocking code to suspending code to make sure you are not accidentally blocking your UI thread. Next up, there is a dedicated section about coroutine cancellation. So first of all, why cancellation is so difficult? You will learn about how this actually works internally. So how coroutines actually know whether they're canceled or not. I will go over various different cancellation traps you can easily step into, and most people actually do, which can lead to plenty of bugs in your code. And you'll get familiar with the yield function coroutines and learn when to use it. Then there will be a section about coroutine error handling. So how does that actually work when an exception is thrown in a coroutine? How is this propagated to the parent coroutines? You will learn how you can decide which specific coroutine scope to use for which use case so that an error doesn't accidentally cancel coroutines it should not cancel. Then there will be a section how you can take a callback and transform that into a suspending function, which will really teach you a lot about how coroutines routines work internally. You'll then learn about synchronization, so when that is actually important, how you can prevent race conditions, 
which different ways there are to prevent race conditions and which of these ways you should apply in which specific use case. So you learn about mutexes, the synchronized block, you will learn about concurrent collections, you will learn about a custom dispatcher in order to deal with race conditions. So a lot of concepts I've never talked about here on YouTube before. And then we will take this foundation of coroutine knowledge you will have at that point and start diving into Kotlin flows, which are heavily based on coroutines. So you'll learn about what a flow is, of course, about all the different types of flows that are on Android. I know this is a super confusing topic. Um, so there is the flow builder, there are hot flows, cold flows, uh, there are callback flows, shared flows, state flows, and we will deep dive into each of these flow types. So you will understand once and for all when to use which. And you will then learn how you can, of course, also apply flows in practice. I am really not a fan of going over all these single flow operators, making a video about, oh, this is what map does, this is what filter does, this is what reduce does because if we are honest this is exactly what you can already learn in the official docs instead my approach in this course will be to teach you all these flow operators in a really practical scenario so you can immediately understand how they work in which scenarios flows are really useful and how you can then take this knowledge and transfer that to your own project to also know okay this might actually be a use case where i can also use a flow but i didn't think of that before but being able to transfer this knowledge only works if you've seen how we can apply these in practice before and finally the last section will be about testing all that. So there will be videos about how you can test suspend functions, how you can test functions that launch coroutine, how you can actually control the execution of a specific coroutine inside of a test case to just gradually advance it to the point where you want. And you will learn why you should inject your coroutine dispatchers in your classes in order to make them testable. So as you can see, this course is full of content that I have never shared before. And in addition, every of these sections also comes with homework assignments so you can be really sure that you understood everything well. So this course is really for anyone who says, okay, Coroutines and flows, that is a topic that affects me, but I feel like there are still certain gaps in my knowledge or I just want to learn this from the absolute ground up. And the best thing is I really structured this in a way that there are no prerequisites necessary other than knowing Kotlin as a language. So the sections are really structured in a way that anyone can benefit from that, be it a beginner who has no idea what a coroutine is in the first place or someone who already regularly uses them in their daily work life, but wants to learn about all those little issues your code might still have. And for just one week, from right now, you can get this new course for 30% less as well as all my other courses. So the discount also counts for all these other courses by using the discount code masterclass. Of course, as all my other courses, this new course comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. So even if you might get it and you feel like, okay, this is not actually what I expected, then you will be able to get all your money back within 30 days after purchase. So you really don't take any risk with this. And at this point, I can really just say thanks for all the support. Click the first link in this video's description. You will get to a page where I've again condensed all these details and information here on a single landing page. And on that page, you will of course also be able to get this new course with a 30% discount. Remember to apply the discount code masterclass during checkout. And other than that, happy learning. Thanks for watching. And I will see you back in the next video. Bye-bye.